Hello, YouTube. It's Axel. real hassle but I love doing it I love making these videos for you guys and I'm sorry they've been quick and short my first one just finished uploading and I deleted it from my Kiwi in my uh, recorder app another battle so here we go we're up against King Gorilla Let's give him a good look. This is getting moved up here. Okay, he has a witch. So we're going to put this right here. And uh, put the spear dark goblin to help take out the troops there. And that sparky is going to be problematic, so I'm dropping the giant skulls in there. It would take so long to spawn in. I had the elixir. But now I'm going to drop uh, this and a heal. Come on. Haha. <laughs> That'll keep my life for a little longer while they take the tower. Okay. So far, so good. Let's start on the right side with a spear go with a goblin head over here. I am sweating like a pig. My backpack is hot from being out in this heat. Here comes a witch. Same process as from before. This time, drops a wizard. I guess he saw that his sparky wasn't going to work very well. Same concept as before. We're going to drop heal as soon as the goblin giant. Or it's pure go I keep saying goblin giant. I'm so excited for that card. Let's get some minions in on this. He's dropped Pekka. He's really trying to counter my push on him. But that's okay. We got his number. Here's some little goblins to take care of his witch and his wizard. Now we're going to use heal right here. Getting those minions help. They're going to take out the sparky, hopefully. Oh, that witch. If only the witch wasn't faster, but that's okay. We got a counter for her. Don't get me wrong. I got to refocus on the skeleton giant. And we're just going to back him up. His bomb took out a majority of them, stopping their push. And that's game over. We won. He just couldn't stop it. We need one more quest to win. And then we'll have to stop till we get another quest. And we might complete our crown chest, so let's jump right into it. Um, probably the next set of videos, I'm going to try and open up all these chests for you guys. That's a hog right in a couple of arches. He's going to drop the minion board on top of the archers and fell. And he took out my minions. That was a good play, though. His witch is a strong card. Which is why we counter it with the skeleton giant. 
Simply because we can also get probably get more <clears throat> out of our kill. Let's see. A Larry. A trio of Larrys or two Larrys. Skeletons. Is uh, worth... I think it's one elixir. So actually by countering her with a skeleton giant, you're pretty much balancing out your elixir just because of her skeletons. But now he's used his uh, arrows. We'll use a mini horde to counter if it'll ever load. Let me bring him in. Not before he takes the tower. That's stupid. Alright, here we go. We got the heal spell on the minions. They're healing and they still get on the tower. This is actually a good combo if you place the timer right. Well, it's time to play the Goblin Hut. And now we'll play some goblins in front of the archers so they can't focus on the Goblin Hut. They need to focus on themselves. Lumberjack will be taken down quickly by my king and princess tower hitting him. We're going to throw the Goblin Gang down in front of these bats. Each bat gets taken out by one Spear Goblin. I don't want to use, uh, yeah, he's using arrows. I was waiting on him to use that so I could do this. Now I'm going to play another Goblin Hut. Play some goblins in front of the Spear Goblins that are coming out of the hut. Play the Goblin Gang to counter the Hog Rider. And we'll use the Dark Goblin for helping deal with the Witch, because evidently we need that help. And now, we play the skele Giant Skeleton. And now we're going to play a Minion Horde on top of the Witches. The Witch. Her and her children will most likely be taken out. And we can get a Hog Rider on that bonus. The Lumberjacks targeted our uh, Skeleton Giant. We couldn't get a heal spell down in time. We're doing some decent damage though. So here we're going to play the Skeleton Giant on the right side now. Drop a heal on top of him. Throw the Goblin Barrel in. And that's our tower. We took it. We got our two crowns for our crown chest. We won. We got our quest complete with this one. Boom, we'll collect our reward. We got a 20 bomb tower. Yay. And that puts us at 280. This will give us five when we get it. But we get to open our crown chest. 857 gold. Five, or two gems. Five goblins. It's a... Uh, something 22 skeleton barrels 24 giant snowballs 10 barbarian huts and that's it and we got four hours and 34 minutes for our next crown just but we did what we wanted to do now we just gotta wait i'm gonna wait till tomorrow to play part two and we will open that magical chest live I will be building a deck. Well, I'll probably put a heal spell in it too because I see the implications of the heal spell. I think it could be really useful in a goblin deck, on a gobbo deck. Either way, I hope you all did enjoy this video, and if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't seen part all the other parts before this one, go back and search up quest. Anyways, I'll